Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 49 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to be solving an absolute value equation. So the first thing we need to do when we're solving an absolute value equation is we need to get this absolute value by itself on one side of the equal sign. So we're simply just going to add 5 to each side here to make that happen. And so a negative 5 and a positive 5 give us 0, leaving us with only the absolute value portion over here. So we have the absolute value of 23 minus 7x on the left hand side now. And that's equal to 4 plus 5, which is 9 on the right hand side. So now since this is an absolute value and it equals 9, that means that whatever this is has to equal either a positive 9 or a negative 9 for this statement to be true. So because of that, we'll just go ahead and we'll go ahead and write those values down. We have a positive 9 and a negative 9. So from that we can basically create two solutions. Since we know that whatever's in here has to be positive 9 or negative 9 to make this true, and we know we have this in there, well then this has to equal either positive or negative 9. So we just simply write that down. 23 minus 7x equals negative 9 and 23 minus 7x equals positive 9. So now that we've got our two equations here, we're just going to subtract 23 from both sides of each equation. And on this side as well, minus 23 and minus 23. So a positive 23 and a negative 23 just give us 0, so we're left with the negative 7x on the left hand side here. And then that's equal to negative 9 minus 23 is a negative 32. And then over here, positive 23, negative 23 gives us 0. We're left with 7x on the left-hand side once again. 9 minus 23 is a negative 14. And so we have negative 7x equals negative 32. And we can just simply multiply the left and right-hand side by a negative 1. And so a negative times a negative is a positive, and 1 times anything is itself. So this just simply becomes 32 is equal to 7 x since we're doing a negative 1 times this, negative negative is positive, 1 times 7 is 7, so we have 7x on the left hand side. And by a similar procedure we basically can turn this into positive values as well, 7x is equal to 14. So now we just simply need to divide each side of each equation by the number 7. 7 over 7 is 1, 1 times x is just simply x and that's equal to 32 over 7. So that's one of our solutions to our absolute value equation. And so then the other solution, we have 7 over 7 times x. 1 times x is just simply x once again, like we did on the left-hand side. And 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. So these are our two solutions. I'll go ahead and write them up here and then I'll kind of just show you how they work with the above equation. So we have basically x is equal to 32 over 7 and x is equal to 2. So those are the two solutions we came up with down below. And uh, I'm just going to just kind of go over this with you guys so you can kind of see how this works. So if we were to basically plug 32 over 7 where our x is in this equation, then we would have a minus 7, we'll go ahead and write that down, minus 7, and then x is 32 over 7, so that's times 32 over 7. So we've just kind of rewrote this term here. 7 over 7 cancels, and so we're just left with the minus 32. So this whole part right here is minus 32, so this is 23 minus 32, and 23 minus 32 is negative 9. Then if we take the absolute value of negative 9, that equals 9. And uh, then 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. So this solution works. So now let's look at it with x equals 2. So plugging in 2 or x is here, we just have 7 times 2 is 14, so we're subtracting 14. 23 minus 14 is a positive 9. Absolute value of positive 9 is still positive 9. And then we have 9 minus 5 equals 4. So both of these two solutions here, both of them work. 
And uh, anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, you guys have an excellent day. Stay tuned for the next video. And uh, we'll just see you guys next time. And have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe.